put up my pumpkins and my bats and I don't think you can even really see them in the background. Anyway, um, hi everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. So we're actually going away tomorrow to Wales just for a few days. So I've been trying to make some Christmas cards and I actually started two weeks ago um, making Christmas cards and my plan was that I wanted to make five new designs and I've sketched them all out but then I actually got ill and I just had a cold um I took a couple of tests and it wasn't covid but it just meant that I kind of didn't work as quickly as I'd been planning on doing it like obviously when you have a holiday it should be something to look forward to but I've kind of been looking at this holiday thinking like oh no like I don't have everything sorted for going away and I've also just started doing this picture book course as well so I kind of wanted to be on top of that um, and with like Christmas coming up as well I've been kind of like panicking a little bit about that which I seem to mention in every studio vlog that I'm just kind of like panicking and a bit disorganized but I've decided that what I am going to do is I'm going to order the Christmas decorations that you would have seen me draw in a previous vlog. I, actually, I've got them down here, let me show you. So these were the Christmas decorations that I drew and I think they're gonna look really nice but I haven't actually ordered them yet because I did a whole load of different sketches for other ones and I kind of wanted to create a few more but then I just kind of thought, you know what? I'm running out of time there's always going to be like next year and I just kind of want to get them ordered because it's going to take time for the companies to make them deliver them to me and then obviously I'll need to like photograph them and yeah then list them on my shop so today it's kind of going to be like a bit of a mad rush <laughs> trying to get stuff still sorted before we go on holiday but my plan is that I'm going to actually order these Christmas decorations the only thing I need to do is like get rid of the background and then I'm going to order them I've only actually managed to do one Christmas card that is nearly finished which is this one and at the moment it looks a bit strange because it's got these white gaps but basically my idea was to take the two like sort of gnome borrower people that I've created and like reuse it and put them so they're going to be like in this position so I just need to put that together that's going to be my plan to order just one of the new Christmas card designs. But yeah, and I can save the other designs for next year. I am also gonna be reordering the Woodlands Animal Christmas cards, which I'll pop up here. These are the ones I actually made a couple of years ago, but they've still been really popular. So I'm gonna get some more of those ordered. I also need to go and do a quick food shop so that we've got like some lunch and stuff for the journey when we drive down um, to Wales tomorrow. Down, up whichever <laughs> direction it is uh yeah i need to pack and post a couple of etsy orders and then i just need to pack so we might have a little bit of a mad scramble also i did actually receive an update about my ghost pins so yeah the ghost pins are coming they're definitely gonna be quite late for halloween maybe they'll be here just in time for christmas i was laughing to my friend actually because i was saying yeah the ghost pins are going to be in time for christmas and maybe my christmas cards will be in time for valentine's day and everything will just be like a season behind but i think next year i'm gonna try and do everything earlier so i thought i could quickly pack all these orders and then do all the other little tasks that I have to do before we go away. And I've just realised someone's bought some stickers and I've run out. And now I need to get the cricket out and make stickers. Ah, why? <laughs> why?
exact orders just got a tiny pile here and then i'm gonna just put an announcement i think on my shop just saying when the next dispatch date will be we're not going away for very many days so and I usually say that my orders are packed within two to four business days anyway, so it shouldn't really affect things too much. Oh, Tammy! Tammy is feeling a little bit jumpy, I think, because I'm moving things around. But on the table, we have a whole load of stuff we're bringing with us. Uh, I won't go through everything because I don't know, this might be really boring, but we're taking some tins because um, we do a lot of our own cooking, taking loads of spices as well. Got lots of stuff to keep us going. I don't usually buy these like packets of rice and stuff, but I thought they might be kind of handy. Making a start, we are also going to take some board games <laughs> with us because we have to take games with us on holiday. So here's a few clips from Wales. I'm gonna make a whole other vlog for that, sort of like, yeah, holiday vlog. But yeah, we had a lovely time and we actually had some quite nice weather as well and also some quite windy weather. We did a lot of walking. We went to some National Trust places as well. Like I said, there'll be a whole other video about that. I didn't actually get everything that I wanted to done uh, during my mad scramble <laughs> the day before but I still managed to have a really nice time and yeah it was nice to have a few days off so we we're actually back from holiday now it is Friday and I didn't actually finish the Christmas card so I'm doing it now yeah it's gonna be so late but I just oh yeah, I just want to do it I'm gonna get rid of this candy cane that she's sitting on for the card it's still going to be on the decoration and i'm going to change the color of her skirt as well because that's not showing up very well might even change the color of her hat so i'm changing the color of this on my ipad if you tap it i'm on the color sort of um blending option i'm just gonna color in this i've got rid of the candy cane Need to make a few changes. Hopefully I can get this ordered. I don't think this is showing up very well. Again, I am doing the very professional thing of just filming my computer screen. Um, but as you can see, I have put this image together. I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully I can show you what it looks like soon in the flesh. And then I've also just updated my logo on the, um, the old Christmas cards that I actually designed these in 2017, so it's actually quite an old design now. So I'm gonna reorder those. I'm just gonna check through everything, first of all, make sure it's all good, and then order them. And hopefully they'll arrive just before Christmas. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Look who I found. Are you sleepy? Kinda tucked your head under this blanket, haven't you? sweetie you're having a snooze so something exciting has come in the post the ghost pins arrived and I think they look so good I'm really pleased that I've actually got them done and also that they're kind of here in time for Halloween I mean <laughs> pretty much like just the week before um, but that's fine but yeah, I think they've come out really well and it's quite a large pin. It's got coral heart-shaped rubber backs on the back and I think it's really nice. Oh, if it will focus. It's gold enamel and it's a hard enamel pin. Really excited that these have actually come. I'm just waiting for the backing cards to come. I feel like there's been this whole theme recently where I've just been very disorganised with my shop because I've been focusing on other things, but ideally <laughs> I would have already ordered the backing cards. Never mind, they're coming soon and by the time this video goes up, it will be in my shop. Speaking of other things like the Christmas cards, I have ordered them, but I haven't uh, got the invoice back yet. Uh, but hopefully when I do, then they can start making those. The Christmas decorations, I can't remember if I told you, but I'd sort of submitted my two designs, but then I couldn't quite decide on what like wood I wanted because there was just so much choice and I thought that I could make a decision just based on their website 
and then I was just like I don't know um so I decided to get some samples scents which are like um samples of like different designs that they do and you know just to kind of you know what a sample is <laughs> um but yeah just to see the kind of different effects of stuff that they do and on like different types of wood and other materials and stuff that's been sent out I haven't received that yet but I'm not really gonna worry about it too much ideally it, like I would have ordered all of this stuff a long time in advance hopefully next year I'll be a bit more organized I am very tempted to maybe in January just <laughs> come up with all my designs and order everything then for the like the whole year. I am about to do my course for this week. This is actually the third week of my course and I think the task I have to do is I have to make like a little tiny book which is going to be like a separate story. So yeah we haven't got on to sort of working on the characters design or writing of our books yet. I think they've given us like a few sort of different tasks just to kind of practice those general skills. It's actually a really small group um, which is really good. There's like I think oh, there's only 13 people in the class. Yeah I'm enjoying the course so far and it's really nice that it's a small group especially because it's like it's an online course and everything's pre-recorded. Um, it's nice to have like the forum and the fact that it is a small group you kind of feel like you sort of get to know people a little bit better yes I'm really looking forward to seeing what people create so far we have had we had like an illustration task where we had to um, like introduce ourselves and like do a self portrait and then we had a writing task we had like a quite a strict word count I think it was like only 250 words which isn't a lot at all and we had to rewrite a fairy tale so I did Jack and the Beanstalk and I told it from the point of view of the giant um, and I sort of wrote it as if Jack was kind of like a tiny pest like a spider or something like scuttling around yeah so just kind of getting back into the routine of working as well because obviously we had time away and when you come back you kind of yeah <laughs> it's sometimes hard to get back into those routines so I think I should stop talking <laughs> and um, yeah do some work so this is what I've been making for my course um, this is nothing to do with the story that I want to write this is just a little kind of exercise we had to make a tiny little book and it's one of those ones where you make it out of like one sheet of paper and this is just like printer paper and we had to draw animals on each page wearing a different outfit and I thought as it's Halloween I'll draw them in like fancy dress costumes I've drawn a penguin that's kind of like a bat or a vampire and actually I'll show you in a minute I am um, I bought one of the books by the tutor or actually by both the tutors which is called Jampires and then I did a giraffe um dressed as a mummy I was also thinking of doing a giraffe like wearing a scarf or something but then when I did Halloween costumes I thought that having them wrapped in bandages might be um, fun because they've got long necks and then I did a little wizard frog and a witchy spider wearing loads of different coloured stockings but yeah the idea of this book was to be something that you could finish quickly and it's not something you're meant to spend ages on like just to show that you can finish something um, because yeah sometimes finishing things are, is hard now this is <laughs> This is meant to be a hedgehog ghost. Oh, I think I've actually mentioned in the last video that I did, which was the pitch book haul, um, I did mention that my book is going to be about a ghost. It's not going to be about a hedgehog ghost. <laughs> also, I don't think this really works. I think it just looks like a hedgehog iced bun. <laughs> like, he just looks like he's covered in icing, but I don't know. And then I did kind of like a Day of the Dead panda because I thought pandas, like with the markings on their face, they kind of already look a little bit like um, sort of skeletons or something in a way. I just need to do the front and the back cover and I don't know if I'm going to put any text in it. I'm not quite sure what to say yet. Um, but yeah, it's been quite fun. I think the penguin is my favourite. 
because penguins are just my favourite animal. Oh yeah, let me show you that book, hang on. So this book is by Sarah McIntyre and David O'Connell have written this book called Jampires and they, it's weird because they both did the illustrations and the text together but they were sort of, I think it, they were saying how it started off kind of like a project where they were just kind of like going back and forth but um, let me just show you where are they. Yeah, it's just really cute. They've got these um, these little characters called Jampires and they love eating jam and they're like vampires and I just think it's quite funny. So I bought that. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I was maybe kind of thinking about vampires when I drew my little penguin dude. But I think he's quite cute. Maybe next Halloween I should make... I mean, I've already got a penguin pin, but maybe I should, maybe I should make a new thing. Or maybe, maybe if I do him as a wooden decoration, maybe? I don't know. I think he's cute. Maybe I should do the wizard toad as well. Now I need to think of a front cover. Front covers are hard. But let's not spend too long on it. So, I know this project isn't meant to take ages, but I thought I would just actually sketch out some ideas for the front cover, because the front cover is kind of important. And I thought it might be fun just to show some little glimpses of the different animals in their costume. And I've just realised <laughs> that I'm, I'm making the toad as big as the giraffe's head. He should probably be a bit smaller, shouldn't he? So I'm just finishing off the cover and I think I've put the apostrophe in the wrong place. I decided to make it familiar's fancy dress party. If it's possessive and plural, I think the apostrophe goes at the end, doesn't it? Bah. Can I rub it out? Does it matter? I've done this bit in pen. You're invited to the familiar's fancy dress party, but beware there are wizard toads. <laughs> hedgehog ghouls or um, hedgehog iced buns which is more scary come if you dare but what will you wear it's nice to do something as well where you don't spend so much time on it um, I mean obviously I could if like this could be something that you work on and then you think oh I actually quite like the idea of like one particular aspect and you can take it a bit further because obviously I could have done a bit more in the background I could have worked on you know more interesting compositions or whatever I think the uh, the covers actually probably the most interesting composition but yeah this was this was quite a fun exercise the backing cards came yay so you might recognize this design because basically I have just used the same design as the woodlands um, enamel pins the woodlands animal enamel pins. Yeah, I've just used the same design as the woodlands animal enamel pins. Um, but obviously I have changed the name. So it says ghost pin on it. But I just thought that it would work because the... Let me wrap some of them. Because my little ghost couples have got leaves on them. I just thought it would look really nice on this backing card and I kind of thought I've already done like the work I think that looks really good and also because I'd uh, kind of left it to the last minute I thought let's just get something ordered quickly so yeah I'm gonna put some of these on the backing cards and then I need to take some photos I've already done my listing like a draft listing so all I need to do is take a few photos of these and then people can actually buy them hooray <laughs>
So this is my setup. Um, you've probably seen these boards before. I'm using one of them, like the back of one, just to kind of bounce a little bit of lights back. I was just taking photos. Yeah, there was a tiny little speck on one of the pins, which I think might have been from one of the leaves. So <laughs> I blew <laughs> to like get rid of the speck stupidly. And then all my leaves just moved around. But I thought it might look quite nice yeah, with these leaves behind it, especially seen as there's leaves on the ghost. One of the things I have to be really careful about with um, taking photographs is currently this leaf here looks black. That's because it's just like it's reflecting that, but that is actually gold. I'm not sure if that's reflecting that because of the camera, because obviously the camera's black. That's probably what it is. So I'm going to try and make sure that I take these from lots of different angles, but I want to make sure that it's actually like a true representation of what the colour looks like. And I remember when I took photos of my Bluebell cat pin and the other cats, it was a photo of me holding them. So it was a bit hard to get me in focus and the pins looking good as well. And I think the pin looked kind of more like that like again reflecting like the black of the camera and somebody messaged me to say that they couldn't find the pin on my website um on my etsy shop because they were looking for a black pin and as you can see it's not black it's actually gold it wasn't actually even a photo that i put on my etsy shop it was i think an extra photo that i put on instagram but yeah, just goes to show that you have to be really careful when you take your photos. Is that a bit of a strange angle? Hello, it is Friday. Um, I have still got loads of ghosts all over my desk um, and like photo boards and things from yesterday. But yeah, I managed to get the ghosts up in my shop. So yeah, that's really good. And I've actually had a couple of orders for the ghost pins. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. So thank you if that was you. Also, I just wanted to show this new t-shirt that I bought. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. There's a bit of writing at the bottom. Let me know in the comments if you know what this t-shirt is about. Yeah, so I'm gonna pack a few orders. I'm not sure when the Christmas stuff is gonna be ready. Hi everyone, it is Emma, kind of from the future, kind of from the past. So I have already uploaded, edited and uploaded the video that you're watching right now. But I have an addition to add, which is that, bum bum bum, the Christmas cards have arrived. And they look so nice and I have just been filming a whole like unboxing thing for the next studio vlog and then I was like hang on I could actually like put that bit in to the video that you're watching now because I'm planning on putting these up tomorrow which is when the video goes up. I feel like I'm confusing myself with all the talk of Emma from the past, Emma from the future. Basically the Christmas cards are gonna be in my shop now. Now, now, now. So you can go and get some if you want. I've got two huge pile of cards to sort through and to fold. So that is gonna keep me busy. Half of those are also a restock of the Woodlands animal cards. I'm not holding that very well. We have the owls singing carols, squirrels decorating a Christmas tree, badgers having their festive meal, foxes dancing and hedgehogs building a snow hog. Battery is flashing at me, so I think I'm gonna go. And also I need to now quickly edit this little clip <laughs> into the vlog and re-upload it. But yes, I've already done a whole like sign off thing, probably where I was saying how I don't know when the Christmas things are gonna be here. But yeah, I'm just really pleased that the Christmas cards are here and the wooden decorations I think are gonna be here in maybe about two weeks time. I am sending you lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. There's all this light so you can see all the dust on this. <laughs> Not very aesthetic. So this book is by Sarah McEntire. <laughs> 
and somebody messed mess me up. But yeah, I can't remember what I've spoken about or what I haven't spoken about because I've been like filming this video for a few weeks now. I've probably said the same thing again and again. I said I'm gonna end the video and I keep talking. <laughs> Thank you for coming, I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.